Okay, no, they know, they know. You didn't get away with it, okay? So think about the way guys look at you. How does your boyfriend look at you? How does your husband look at you? How do you wish your boyfriend looked at you? <laughs> and, you know, it's like, hmm. Because you're going to be checking out the girls. That's, that's, you know, not all men are pigs. Well, deep down. But, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But the thing is, you want to send those cues. So you're going to go a little bit more than, than you think the average guy is. You want to just hit a little harder. Just a little bit more. Because you're trying to counteract all of the feminine things you've got going against you that you can't help. You can't help the fact that you've got little hands. Okay? A guy my size would still have larger hands than that. That's a giveaway for me that I've had people catch me on. So I tend to keep my hands out of sight. I'll stand with my hands like this. Try not to put them too far back because then I show that my jacket goes in here. So I try to remember to put them on my hip so that it pulls the jacket straight there. And I stand like this and it's like, okay, you're not really noticing my hands. Another thing is, back to jewelry again. Um, take off your wedding ring, because guys don't tend to wear engagement rings with a solitaire. So <laughs> if you wear that kind of jewelry, you need to take it off. Um, you don't have to accessorize if you're a guy. You don't have to add anything. But if you want to, I don't know where I've got it. Um, at a convention, I, it was a sci-fi convention, and they were selling no, one of the other bags. They were selling um, Starfleet Academy rings, class rings. We're geeks. No, really. It's been known to happen. Go ahead, ask me Question. Spock's blood type. Question over here. What is Spock's blood type? What it's got to be a man's watch. I actually mentioned watches earlier. I said, you, normally I would say, buy a man's watch, go to Walmart, get a man's watch. So few people wear them anymore because everyone uses their cell phone. True story. Went up to a guy, said, can you tell me what time it is? He spent 30 seconds trying to find his cell phone, pulled it out, told me the time. I said, actually, I ask you because you're wearing a watch. Oh. <laughs> and so, Whoa. or things like that, go get a guy's watch. And then, um, Inside or outside, most guys wear them out, you know? And um, again, you want to go with what people are going to expect. So it's going to make more sense for you to wear it out. Um, like I said, nice big heavy ring, class ring. Doesn't matter that it's a Star Trek ring, most people aren't going to look that close. And if they do, oh well, my guy happens to be a geek. <laughs> Been known to happen. <laughs> so, you know, that's another thing. So I wouldn't be wearing the pretty little bracelet that I got today, but you know, that kind of a thing. Another thing is I tend to get my shirt sleeves a little long to hide my wrists so that you can think, oh, maybe the hand is longer and it's just the sleeves are riding down. You know, because like I said, your hand size is going to blow your illusion more than a lot of other things. Um, men's shoes, get a pair of men's shoes a size bigger than you normally would and stuff cotton into the toes. But practice walking in them so you don't trip. <laughs> now, men, you can go, a lot of times Payless will have larger sizes in, men, in women's shoes. If you're looking for a pair of pumps or what have you, don't think you can get away with just wearing a pair of tennis shoes if you're wearing a dress. Because they're going to take one look and say, what is that guy doing in that dress? <laughs> and, and, and by the way, the whole issue of practicing walking, heels are not that tough. And most people who are going to do that can handle them. But if you've ever, ever, ever seen a drag or female impersonation in a movie, what's the first thing they do to show they're really a guy? They stumble with the heels. Yep. Always. That's the, that's the standard move. So you practice. If you want to be convincing. Dress up as your opposite gender, have a friend come over, and walk up and down the hall. Have them watch you going towards and from, okay? My friend happens to be a lesbian. My sister's a lesbian. This is her partner. I actually got her partner in a dress one time. Wow. <laughs> she walked like a linebacker. <laughs> she walked like this in that dress. And I was like, I know men that do better. <laughs> I know 
<laughs> drag queens that are more convincing. So you've got to think about it. And you know, you can flip on any channel and watch any show and see the way people move. And everybody moves slightly differently because it's slightly different mechanics. I have a longer torso and shorter legs, you know. But, you know, kind of throw your feet out, kind of strut, don't shake your hips, because your shoulders and your hips are going to be lined up instead of like the twist that girls put in. You don't Actually, want to do that. I would think this would be a good time to see how well the girls could do the guy walk and how well some of these guys could do the girl walk. <laughs> Give us, give us your best linebacker walk. <laughs> you've got your shoulders of course, and hips moving like together, but you've got your chest stuck out too far, sweetie. <laughs> That's not bad. But you want, to, you want to have a friend, and if you've got the resources, have them film you and then watch it. What about you the know? guys? The guys haven't had a chance to demonstrate. Let's see. It's because girls took us to front row. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bridge on that. There's one right there. We're holding our own. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see a swish. Swim. <laughs> You've already got the skirt, so you're one step ahead of the rest of the <laughs> Tips do you have like to move more ladylike? You know, because I know for guys it is, you know, throw your weight out and move it, but like, yeah. what about okay. to move like, you know, more? To be more feminine, for one thing, watch how girls walk when they're in skirts. Don't watch a girl in blue jeans because a girl that is wearing a skirt is feeling more feminine. Um, what I just did with my hands, you know, you tend to have your fingers further out from your sides than your wrists are. You're going to, you're going to be walking like. Look at and they know it. You know, when you're smiling, you have to smile. That is the one You that is have huge. to smile, that guys. That is huge. Guys, if you're trying Women to do the Women smile thing, way wow. more than men. Way more than men. They and women don't. don't just smile if they're happy. They also smile if they're nervous. Because when you smile at someone, you're asking them to trust you and to be nice to you. So women will also smile if they're uncomfortable or nervous or worried. It's like, hi, honey, um, did you see the car? <laughs> <laughs> you know, women will smile under circumstances where a guy would be like, about the car. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a completely different dynamic going on. Women smile way more than men and for way more reasons. Um, yes. What about sitting? Like Girls will sometimes cross their legs or cross their ankles or keep their legs still together. Guys tend to sit with their knees apart. <laughs> yeah. Whether they're just sitting. <laughs> like I said, it's not every guy, but guys tend to take up, like I said, a lot of space. So if they're just on the edge of a table, they might just have one leg up like this. They might be sitting there, and it's like, yeah. They've got their wrists on their knees and stuff like that. Because remember, girls, they need to make room for something in their pants you don't. <laughs> Which brings us to another thing. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't tell you it was PG-13. That's fun. If you want to be convincing, you want to get yourself a pair of man's underpants. Now you can go with Y fronts, you can go with boxers, you can go with what have you. If you're going to go with boxers, however, you've got to fill them. So you're going to have to wear your own underpants and pin something to the front of them and then put the boxers over. Socks! Or <laughs> a rolled up pair of socks, but be realistic. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not talking, we're not talking Shaquille O'Neal's tube socks. <laughs> Unless you want to start frightening people. <laughs> and again, if this is a little more than you want to get into, that's okay. And you know, like I said, it's a matter of what length you're going to go to and what your purpose is, okay? 